welcome back to our channel. Yes, I am back in England right now, but this video is gonna be set in Thailand. Today, we're gonna to be showing you all about Koh Lipi, also known as the Maldives of Thailand. If you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and press the bell so you get notifications every time we upload another one of our adventures. As always, we're gonna be showing you where to stay, where to eat and what to do. Stay tuned. We are currently making our way from Krabi to Koh Lipi. So last night we stayed one night in Krabi and then this morning we got up at 5 a.m., got on a five hour transfer to the port and now we're at the port and we're gonna get a one and a half hour boat over to Koh Lipi. So we paid 1,300 baht, so about 35 pounds each to get all the way from Krabi down to the pier and that includes the speedboat over. So not too bad. So we are getting on an actual speedboat for the next hour and a half. Yeah, I think it's 67 kilometers to Koh Lipi. We're doing it an hour and a half on a boat, so it's gonna be pretty rapid. <laughs> um, and it looks like we're gonna have to wear life jackets, so uh. yeah, it's gonna be fun. I cannot believe how fast this is going. on a very rainy Koh Lipi. We got picked up from the Paul Bar Hotel, which was great. First impressions, beaches look amazing. Inland, not so much, lots of rubbish, lots of flooding, and lots of knockdown down buildings, but the hotel's looking great. Just checking in, and we're gonna check out our beach. It's Koh Lipi, we made it. Good, like, mm. I know what those. Tropical vibes. Just head into our room. First, we've got loads of washing, so we're on the hunt to find some laundry place that will wash it for us. We, this beach is amazing. Yeah, it's stunning. We're literally right on it as well. There's our, right there. Leafy Walking Street, which supposedly where all the restaurants and shops are. At first sight, everything looks closed. So let's go find out if anything's open. We found somewhere to do our washing at the Casa in Thai Resort. It's 60 baht per kilo, £1.50 a kilo. See, we are definitely here in low season. The season actually starts in October. Still really, really cool, really, really cute little vibes down here and just excited to explore a little bit more. We've just come to a local restaurant for a little bit of lunch. It's called Tiger Restaurant. Well, we've got the classic Thai dish of onion rings and veggie fried rice with a fried egg on top. Veggie food in Thailand. We're not quite sure if the place is trustworthy with Sorry. avoiding okay. meat. I've got pad thai. Veggie. Veggie pad thai, yeah. I do find it weird how you always get like sugar for the pad thai. I do you find that no. weird. Good. Alright, that's Literally costs about yeah, six, six pounds fifty. Pound 50 yeah. And that included your beer. And that included a beer, which was two pounds fifty. Yeah. And a bottle of water. So yeah. And it was so good. Silly, really. We came in on Sunrise Beach, and now we're going to go find Sunset Beach. Here we have a wild millipede. So we've made it to Sunset Beach. It should be like incredible. There's all rocks over here. There's Palm trees everywhere, but there is so much rubbish, it's actually terrible. Plastic and flip flops and everything scattered the whole way across the beach. 
and it's like that everywhere in the, on the island if you're not on Pattaya Beach or Sunrise Beach. There's just so much rubbish, it's terrible. Yeah. Why are you calling at 11.30 when you only want to do me dirty? Liv's attracted all the dogs again. Yeah. Get that out of the sea. All the strays have been given food. Literally all the dogs are out having their dinner. Now we're back in our room and we are gonna go and have a massage because it's still a bit gloomy outside. And we just feel like we deserve it. Oh no, I don't wanna fight this. You know how to just make me want you to So we had an amazing massage, feeling very relaxed. I feel like I'm floating. And now just back to the room, running a hot bath. I think we're just gonna chill for the evening. Show the bathroom set up. Pretty nice for our pretend honeymoon. After having a super relaxing bath, we are now going to head out for some dinner along the beach. It's a little bit rainy and we're really tired because we've been up since 5am. So we're just going to get something quick and we'll see you tomorrow. So we're just doing a quick bit of shooting for Bundaya Villas where we're staying on Kolipi for the next three nights. Hello. So we'll just set up and show you a bit of the shooting that we'll be doing today. So we've literally just gone out to take some shots and then it has absolutely pissed it down on top of us. I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube, but there you go. It is wild out there. So we're going to show you a room tour of the place that we are staying in Bundhaya Villas. So my favourite room first, which is this open air bathroom, massive bath, lovely outdoor shower, and then this big glass kind of window set up, that takes you through to the bedroom, and this is the bedroom. So a huge room, this is the honeymoon villa, right on the beach front, We've got a massive comfortable bed, lovely sofa, and it is all about the view. Yeah, unfortunately it's been raining today, but we've got a lovely balcony. And then if we go back inside, for everybody that's scared of showering outside, there is an indoor bathroom as well, which is fairly standard. Which one's his, which one's hers? It is hers. It's, I think 7,700 baht per night, which is just shy of 200 pounds. By far the best room, it's pretty epic. All I did. So we've made it to Sunrise Beach. Bit more of a vibe here than everywhere else. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of longboats. Nice hotels and bars scattered along the beach and we're just gonna take a walk all the way down and see what's going on. In month four and five I was living my life I was better and didn't have to try So we are at Salisa Lipe, we're right on the beachfront, cool little vibe, and we've got the classic spring rolls and pad thai again. <laughs> so we are outside Zodiac Bar on the Sunrise Beach, and it's absolutely stunning. The water is just so clear, and this whole kind of peninsula sticks out. Cheers. And it is raining again. So it's been raining so hard that you've had to wade through this water. <laughs> and now Lewis is trying <laughs> He's trying to go along the wall. Oh, it's so gross. I don't want to walk in it. Do 
we made it back, we've waded through the waters of Walking Street, we've booked onto a dive for tomorrow, we've got our laundry. And I'm absolutely buzzing because I've not been wearing any pants for the last four days. So I've finally got some underwear. Good times. Good times indeed. Now we're going to head out for some dinner. That night we went for a drive to 30 in the morning. I guess you it was boring. So we've just finished our food at the box. I had some tapas and Lewis had the burger. Honestly, it was so good. <laughs> like super tasty. Like I haven't had food like that in a while. If you're in Kolipi, definitely come down to the box. And obviously if you want a break from Thai food, because Thai food is amazing. Um, but yeah, if you want a little break, this place, the food is really, really, really good. Just walking home and looking forward to a lovely sleep with the sound of the ocean, my favourite kind, and going diving in the morning. Alright guys, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, so we are up early again today. We've made our way to Sunrise Beach and we are going on to dive. It's a rainy morning so there literally is no better thing to do than to get under the water. Um, yeah, so we'll let you know what we see. So we've just finished our two dives here in Kolipi. Pretty epic dives to be fair. Fortunately, the marine park opens tomorrow. So there's loads of cool dive sites around here. There's a wreck, Bonehenge, which has got incredible soft corals. If you're planning to come here diving, come after the 1st of October so that you can do that dive. I remember the sickness was forever. I... Final night in Kolipi. Back out on Walking Street for some dinner tonight. And things are really gearing up for the season right now. It begins next month. We're we're definitely going to come back one time when it's in season to see how it compares. So, do it all again next week in embryonic love the first time that it... So we've come back to the box because the food was so good that I now want to try the tapas instead of the burger. And yeah, best food here I think. And it still bugs me now That's the thing it lingers so we are just leaving Kolipi. Pretty disappointing that the weather is looking reasonably nice today. So sad to be leaving after three days of quite a lot of rain. But Kolipi, I would say overall has been great. It's definitely got the best beaches that I've seen in Thailand. Um, and yeah, would highly recommend coming here, particularly in the peak season. I'm not sure I'd recommend coming in the, right in the middle of the off season because a lot of places close down and there is a lot of rain here. I think in the peak season, this place is gonna be thriving and this is gonna be the first season since COVID. So it really kind of feels like an island that's been sitting pretty dormant for two years and is now gonna basically come back to life this summer which is going to be great for the people here because it's so remote that you do feel like they're quite disconnected from the rest of Thailand. So we look forward to coming back definitely in peak season next time. Peace. Here we go for Crazy Speedboat part two. Hold on to your hats, people. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video on Koh Lipe. If you like what we do here, make sure you subscribe, like and share so others can find us. We'll see you in the next one. No one throws up on us. Last time I had a girl throwing up next to me. Bye bye, Leapy. See. Good. Now we're gonna. <sighs> Hate it when you do that. <laughs> bitten. I get bitten all the time when I'm doing so windy. This is. Which is just a bit windy, mate. <laughs> okay. So, take four.